Hi, intuitive, hi, intuitive viewers. <laughs> I'm saying hi twice because I just saw the recording go on. How are you? Hopefully you're doing well. Um, I had a few requests to, to come on today after the, the big call broke from uh, Trump being um, what we already know he is. I mean, <laughs> what else does he have to do? It's like, okay, we already know he's a, he's a, talks like a mob boss and he's, you know, corrupt. So I don't know, I guess, you know, nothing new there, but um, I have my go-go shirt on. <laughs> um, I'm just taking it easy. It was stormy here and now it's sunny. So hopefully I'll get it outside today. Um, so I hope that, um, I hope that this week you um, kind of, in my last video, I kind of talked about this being a week to just be sure that you're really grounded, to know that it's going to be crazy. There's going to be more of the same. There's going to be people throwing themselves in front of, you know, Trump so he can walk on them later. I mean, I don't know why they keep doing it, but they do. Yeah, there are reasons, I guess. But what I would say is just make sure that you're grounded. And, you know, the night of the election, I got a lot of people saying, you know, you said he was going to lose, da, 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 da. And I kept saying, and I put out a tweet even that said, I'm seeing this, there's, there's these votes in these places. And it turned out to be a lot of the places he won. But I was seeing that they hadn't counted them yet. I just saw them laying there. So I knew they were going to count them and then Biden would be ahead. <laughs> this is where we'd be. So I said that I see, I'm seeing votes here and here and here. Something's with them. They're, they're, they're just there. Um, and I couldn't figure out if it was something like they, at first I was kind of like, are they going to not count them? But then I thought, no, they're just, they're just, they're just there. They're, they're there. They're letting me know, like the votes are here. Um, it'll come to light. So, um, but I was getting panicked, you know, messages. And these are the things that I've been talking about for two years. And I know that my guides are, they're not going to, if something was going to go wrong or if something was going to be really, um, if for some reason he wasn't going to leave or something, everything changed, they would let us know. They're, they're, they would be gentle about it and kind about it, but they would prepare us. They'd say, this is what's going to happen. Before coronavirus, the month, literally like the month before, um, I was getting messages about animals and human beings leaving the earth in groups. And although we didn't quite know what that meant, they were still preparing us. They were still getting us ready for the idea that this is gonna be happening, but it's all okay. There, this is, there's a reason for this. Um, we'll understand it. We'll, we'll, we'll grasp what's going on. It's gonna be all right. And as we've gone through this stuff with the, um, with the, the virus, it's been scary. It's been worrying and terrifying and all of these things. And we've watched our family members get sick. And, our, our, you know, um, some I got messages from people who have passed from had family members pass away. It is it's really caused this big upheaval in everybody's lives in some way, shape or form. But the reason that message came through at the very beginning was to let us know, like, there's there's there is some reason for this. There's some sense to this that's going to be made. <clears throat> We're going to learn a lot from this. Um, and it's all part of a bigger, a bigger, I say plan, but a bigger, to give us a different perspective on things and to help us to move from one, uh, from one set of, um, the way we look at things to another way. That's all part of this shift and that, that we've been talking about for so long. It's, it doesn't happen. I think sometimes people think when I talk about a shift, I mean, that sounds like it's boom, that's just, it's just there. It's a process. We've been in the middle of it for a long time. So it's ongoing, it's happening now. Okay. So, um, and this is part of it. And so with Trump, Trump has been like a big, hideous, <laughs> mean foghorn, kind of alerting us to all of the issues that have been there for ages. It's just that you have this person who is like a, you know, 
a, a child running around, you know, showing us here, look, I can do this. I can do this. I can do this. And this is the way the system is. I can just do it. See, no problem. I, I don't, I don't have any consequences because this is the way the system is. Um, this is how bad it's gotten. So he's been this kind of alert to us to know, okay, this has to change. This has to be different now. And um, he will be, um, he is going to have a huge fall. We've seen that from the beginning. Um, his, he'll lose property, he'll lose money, he'll lose his name. And again, this is all part of a, a, a process to show us um, that this is kind of the end of an era. It's a, it's a, a new beginning for us to try to, um, to, to change things in our world. And it was going to take a lot of crazy stuff happening. And we talked about this again, like a year ago, about this unearthing that was going to be happening. My guides told me about that. I think it was last January saying, this is what's happening. This is what's going to be happening. There's going to be this unearthing and it's going to be ugly. We're going to see lots of ugly stuff. And so you see like the Black Lives Matter. There was this unearthing of police brutality and the injustices in our legal system. Then you've got these, um, the coronavirus that has exposed poverty and it's exposed our, the weakness in some of our, um, our healthcare systems and how, you know, um, how valuable certain, um, you know, segments of our population are, how they keep us going, our teachers and our healthcare workers and our, you know, all the essential workers, it's truck drivers, you know, all of these really, really important, important um, positions that are so low, have low wages, and they shouldn't because they're the ones that keep things going. You know, it's not, you know, the Kardashians, <laughs> which, you know, but it, it's true. We, we kind of have this idea that, you know, some people are more valuable than others. And it turns out, no, not true at all. So all of this unearthing is happening. And it's what we kind of do with it. We, it's going to be shown to us. It's going to be ugly. Some of it's going to be um, sad, um, worrying. It will bring out all of these emotions in us. Think of the, 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 um, all of the stuff that came forward about the immigration policy and all that stuff. It, it's going to move us to change things, and it's supposed to do that. It's supposed to be so uh, thought provoking, or or maddening, or. Um, heartbreaking that we do something about it. We've got to get these things under control and under wraps so that we can save ourselves, save the earth, and move forward, um, evolve as a as spiritual beings on earth. That's what this is all about. You know, we're, we're all in this kind of together. And there are, you know, these kinds of, uh, what I would say, uh, you know, like kindergarten or preschool souls that are, you know, tearing up the joint or, you know, starting conflicts and, you know, that kind of thing. And then you have this a section of maybe, you know, kind of high school or college age, you know, spirits that are, it, it doesn't have anything to do with one being better than the other. It's just different. And it's just where they are. And it's okay. But um, there's, there is a, we're on this in this time where everything's kind of changing and we're all kind of evolving. And these people, the, the, the people ripping up the joint, they'll come along sooner or later. They, they will have their moment. They will have their time. Um, it may be a harder road for them. And that's, 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 you know, that's up to them. Um, we have our free will and that's the way it is. Um, okay. So let me get into what is going to be happening this week because um, people again <laughs> wanted me to jump on and 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 talk about this. Um, you know, like I said, it's going to be crazy town. We're taking the bus to crazy town, so buckle up, okay? <laughs> That's what's going to be happening. Um, Trump at his rally, he's going to be saying crazy things. Um, you may see actually. Um, interesting because I'm feeling like a, maybe a couple of senators or house members might jump off the crazy train. They might jump off before, um, before they do the vote certification thing. I feel like there might be a couple that say, uh, never mind. I 
I think we may take these Georgia seats, you guys. I keep, you know, it's, I think this is hard um, in the way that when we were going through the election, Texas and, and uh, Florida were hard and that there'd be so much voter suppression, so much cheating. This Purdue guy from the beginning, I have felt like he's just cro crooked. <laughs> is He is a crook. I'm glad John Ossoff said it to his face because he is, he is a crook. He's, he is, um, he's just ruthless. You know, he's a lot like Trump. He'll just do and say whatever he has to. It doesn't phase him. He'll just do it. Um, he'll threaten, he'll bribe, he'll promise stuff. Um, it doesn't matter to him. Um, and then, you know, when you have someone like a John Ossoff, who's, who's very much a straight arrow, um, won't do anything, you know, to, to, you know, get off the beaten path. He's such a, such a, an honest person. Um, what you have sometimes is the honest person gets, um, left in the dust because maybe that's not the way things operate right now in Georgia. You know, maybe it's not all honest. I, I don't know, but I feel like this, that race is going to be the, for whatever reason, I'm not as concerned about the other race. It's that one that I'm concerned about. And I'm concerned about Purdue. He is crooked. Um, and he's just, like I said, he'll just do and say whatever he has to. He's just one of those people. And sometimes those people can get ahead for a while. And then usually they do what Trump's done. They go too far. They get caught. They go to jail or whatever. That's what happens to those kind of people. They, they can do it for a while. It'll work for a while. Um, so I do see that race. Um, it just may take a little longer or it may be a little more. I do think Ossoff will eventually win, but I just feel like there's something weird about that race. Um, I don't know if it will take a little bit longer. It almost feels like it will, there'll be some voting or votes in question and it will be very close. So they'll recount or something like that. Um, John Ossoff may have to kind of fight for it. Um, he may have to, he may have to fight for it a little bit. Um, I'm not picking up exactly what's going to be happening, but I just feel like there's something weird about that race. So, um, but I, I trust the Georgia system. You know, they've been so transparent and so honest about everything. I feel like they will get to the bottom of it and they will do um, the right thing. So let me just say that. So I think we may take these both these seats. Um, I, I, like I said, I, I, I always hesitate saying that, but I, I feel like we, we probably will. Um, so uh, about this tape that was done, I kind of wanted to check in on Trump because I, if you listen, we listened to the whole thing last night and you definitely hear um, a kind of desperation that you didn't necessarily hear before. You know, he's always so, um, tries to exude confidence um, that he always comes across as kind of douchey, you know, kind of that kind of guy, but but he, um, but I feel like he's, he's kind of waffling between, at this point, he's waffling between kind of being terrified, like what's gonna happen to me and being and thinking of like the things that could go wrong, which he's he's kind of a testament. I think I've told you before to the secret because he's so in a bad way. You know, he he forces stuff to happen in his favor, and again, that can work for a while, but eventually, it's not. It's just not going to always work. You know, you can't bully everybody. You can't make everybody do what you want them to do. If you're the head of your own company, you can a lot of the time. You know you figured out loopholes in the system, you know, you can, you can take advantage of them, but it, only for so long, you can't do it forever. Um, it eventually will catch up with you, even if you're Donald Trump. So um, what I feel like is that he's waffling between being, being um, nervous and worried about what he could lose and where, and that he might end up in prison. And then going back to his normal thing of like, 
but it'll be fine. I'll get, I'll, you know, I, I always come out on the other side of things. I'll, I'll be fine. I'll, I'll, you know, it'll be okay. I'm not going to let this happen. I'm calling so-and-so, you know, he always, um, to me, I feel like he always, when he, 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 he'll have thoughts in his head, like, I'm going to do this. I know this is right. And then he'll call so-and-so that will tell him exactly what he wants to hear. That's kind of the way he, he, it feels like he rolls. Um, I've never read anything like that. I, mean, I don't know. I've never read Art of the Deal, but I, but I just feel like that's what he does. That's how he keeps himself kind of in that positive thinking mindset for such a negative person about himself. He does think positively. He thinks I'm going to get away with it. It's going to be fine. I'll get over it. I'm going to come out ahead. I'm going to do, you know, and he'll do whatever it takes to do that. That's different than like the secret or, or manifesting or anything. It's a, it's a, it's like bullying the universe, you know, <laughs> rather than just like working with in concert with the universe. And you can only do that for so long before the universe will hit back. Um, you, you just, that's just the way it is, you know? Um, and there's a lot of stuff to come back on him, you know. Um, there's more pardons coming. I do feel like he's trying to figure out about his own pardon and what to include. It's hard because I feel like he doesn't want to admit any kind of guilt. And when you get a pardon, you have to be you do have to at least acknowledge something that you've done wrong and that's really hard for him. So it's, it's going to be very hard for him to be pardoned because he doesn't, he, he wants his cake and eat it too. You know, he doesn't want to admit that he did anything wrong, but to get a pardon, you have to admit something, you know, have to at least acknowledge the fact that, you know, this happened. And you also, you know, like I said, he's not thinking these pardons through very well. They're going to come, some of them are going to come back to haunt him. And, um, as we saw with, you know, with the Ukraine call, right? That was right after the Mueller thing. These people, Stone, Trump, Paul Manafort, these, they, they roll in um, dishonesty and cheating and lying and criminaling, <laughs> you know, cr criming, um, committing crimes. They, this, the way that they think is the way they roll. It's, it's not something they'll just be like, whoa, you know, wow, that was, you know, I got my pardon. So I'm definitely going to be good now. No, that's not the way they think or the way they operate. So they're just going to keep criming. And so therefore they will probably all end up in prison. I can look at each of them and probably tell you what's going to happen, but, but I already know that like, actually Paul Manafort, I feel like is in not great. There's something. There's a few of these guys. I, I'm not going to go into specific. There's a few of these guys. I feel like aren't going to be around much longer. So um, they may or may not make it to a point where they go to prison. But as we know from Nixon, following Trump around the White House trying, you know, a, a, over a year ago, I think it was trying to get him to step down and to take some responsibility and talking to him, trying so hard to get him to listen. Um, you don't just get rid of your stuff when you pass away. You, you maybe don't have the, um, the hard feelings or that hard shell that you do when you're here. You kind of like, like Gary said, Gary Champion said, you kind of leave it here, but you still have to deal with your stuff. You still have to look at it and you still have to um, come to terms with it. And as we found out from Nixon, it's much harder there. If, if you deal with it here, it's so much easier because it's done. And then you don't, and then you're, and then you, you have, you know, uh, you've really, done some of the spiritual work you're supposed to be doing here so it's not gonna be easy for him either way so for any of them for any of these people they'll have to work it out there if they don't work it out here and of course we want to see him work it out here because we want to be part of the 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 ha ha squad <laughs> saying you know ha -ha, you got caught you're going to jail whatever and you, you you want that that justice that feeling of justice and um for all of for for some of these people we may not get that moment 
Um, with Trump, it's going to be as I just feel like it's just going to be a slow roll decline. We're just going to see every moment of it, and it'll be something to take in. And it's a lesson. It's a lesson. That's why we're witnessing it. That's why we're witness all of this. It's a lesson. Um, his kids are going to have to suffer this. I feel like their their name is going to be ruined. Um, it's not going to be the same world in you know four or five years. It's, it's going to be very different. The, the 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 really obnoxious way that they have flaunted their wealth and their when people were dying of coronavirus and sitting in food lines, it's going to really not age well, right? It's not good now, but it's really not going to age well. Um, so this is all going to come to a head and, and, and um, how uh, for my 2021 predictions this year, a lot of it is about um, healing and it's about um, the light being shown on things and us kind of beginning to take care of things, fix things. Um, the repairing begins, right? So, um, but this is part, this phone call and stuff, it's, it's almost like everything they do, it's not going to quite go because it just, it's, it's not supported by anything good. It's not, it's like I said, you know, before with the, with the election stuff, nothing they're doing is supported by spirit energy. And there's a lot of spirit energy here right now. I don't know if you've noticed, but there really, really is. Um, there is a lot of spirit energy here. And so um, a lot of the stuff they do is just going to fall flat, even though it's maybe it worked in the past, it's not going to work anymore. Um, the other thing that I wanted to say too, is that, oh, my point about the, you know, everybody was writing me and saying, you know, he's going to, is he, is he going to, you know, is he going to, um, is Trump going to win because it looks like he's going to win. And I would say he's not going to win. It may take a little longer, have faith, be calm. It's okay. Don't worry. And I'm telling you that because my guides were telling me that, and they were so like, it's okay. If they had changed their view, I would tell you, but they didn't. It was just very like, just be calm. It's okay. This is a process. Let it work itself out. It's okay. And with this, it's the same thing. So have some faith. Okay. Just have some faith. There's bigger things at play here, bigger than Trump, you know, bigger than these, these people who think that they run the world, bigger than Putin, bigger than all of these people. There's bigger things at play here. Um, we're moving in a direction that can't be stopped. Um, people can drag their feet. You know, we've got some of that and that'll, that'll happen. That's okay. That's okay. They'll come along in their own time. Um, but our job is to kind of um, move forward and, um, and heal and help others heal and fix the problems that we've seen, fix the things that we've seen, push our um, leaders to fix them make sure we stay on top of them and make sure that we um, don't become apathetic like we had been kind of complacent, make sure we're involved. I've never in my whole lifetime and I'm, I'm over 50. So <laughs> in my whole lifetime, I have never seen the kind of um, involvement in elections and in the process and in government and things from <laughs> all ages, both sexes, both, you know, women and men, um, you know, all different ethnic backgrounds. It's, it's just like, it really is a, such a big um, shift and change. And it, it's for a reason. We needed to wake up because we've got to shift things. We've got to change things. We've got to move things, okay? So this week, get grounded. You're going to hear crazy stuff. And I feel like it's even going to be like, it's going to be crazy stuff. I also feel like um, a lot of the um, Democrats are kind of welcoming this because it, it gets people on the record. It puts people on the record. That's why Mitch McConnell was like, don't do this because this is your record. And so when this guy is, is gone and he's in jail, you don't have this record of you standing up for this guy. <laughs> so, you know, he was trying, trying to let people know, but you know, um, Trump is nervous. He's very worried. I feel like his 
Raleigh's going to be weird tonight. I feel like he's going to say some weird stuff. Threat. Somebody just said threats. Um, so there's threats about something. Maybe people being threatened. Um, I do see some pockets of violence, um, but I don't feel like it's anything like big and organized. It's little things, little skirmishes and little kind of, um, I do think that people will have guns for some reason. So it might be those open carry states and stuff like that. I, I don't know, but um, there, to me, it does feel like some violence, but I don't feel like anybody gets killed or anything. I think it, it may just be things here and there that happen. And this, you know, people have been under tremendous, tremendous stress over the last year, right? And some people will see this as like, this is the last straw, I can't take it. You know, my favorite president in the world is getting, you know, cheated out of this election. You know, there, there might be people that kind of snap um, because they just can't deal with it and they believe this stuff, you know? The Biden um, people, I feel like the Biden people that like their FBI and their justice system are really gonna go after like um, these kind of white supremacist groups and stuff. I feel like they might Is her due cause. So they may find reasons to kind of arrest some of these people um, and kind of break up these groups. I feel like they want to break them up. Um, and there, there's something about people being on the inside, people like maybe um, people that go in as like, um, what do you call it, uh, undercover, that kind of thing. I feel like there's gonna be people on the inside like telling them what, what's happening. If there isn't already now, but I think this is all Biden stuff. I think this is a little bit later. Um, and I feel like they're really gonna go into these communities and or into these organizations and try to break them up. Um, there's a meltdown of some kind. Somebody just said melt a meltdown. So there might be, I don't, I don't know if this is people melt, like having meltdowns or if it's just kind of, or if it's actually a, like somebody who's going to be talking or something. Um, in front of the, on Wednesday, like, like break, like, I don't know, something about breaking down. Um, it's gonna go through, Biden's gonna be the winner. It's just gonna be, it's the, think of it as the grand finale of this crazy, you know, <laughs> this crazy reality show we've had to endure for the last, little while. It's been a nightmare for everybody. <laughs> but like I said, it's, it's, um, you know, we, we're going to get a lot of, um, we're going to learn a lot from it and um, move ourselves forward in a way we have never done before. Um, so sorry, I'm feeling like a little bit dizzy. Uh, for some reason, that's just kind of like, was a little bit intense. Okay. Um, so uh, the last thing I just want to tell you is that, um, you know, I've been bringing a lot of different people for you guys to meet, um, having like little interviews with them, just talking to them. And at first it was funny because I thought, 
it was, I knew my guides were having me do this. This channel is, I do this, my guides tell me what to do, what I should do. Um, even the people write and ask, can I do this? Or should I do this? I always check with my guides. So at first I thought I'm just like letting you guys meet new readers. And so if you want to get readings or if you want to watch their channel or whatever, and, and to help them as well to, to know you guys, because you're so, um, great and amazing. <laughs> um, and we have such a nice community. So I just thought it would be really nice. And so that's what I thought. But recently, what I realized is that at least part of the reason that my guides are having me do this is for you guys, because this is about you guys and about you and your kind of getting in touch with kind of your abilities and and kind of being able to to, to see things in a, with a different perspective a little bit. And so um, I feel like my guides were really wanting you to hear different stories because you might see yourself in some of these stories. They're all very different. And I, I wondered why I was being drawn to certain people. Because um, everybody that contacts me, I don't, you know, not every single person do I put on the channel. Um, I, you know, um, sometimes I might go on their channel or whatever, but I, I, I really have to get an okay, you know, for my guys to do this. So I, and I listen. So, um, but what I found is that these people are all so different. They're different ages. You know, you've got, you know, Chris, who's very young and he's just starting and he's um, going to learn a lot. And he's kind of at the beginning of this journey in a lot of ways. And then you've got, you know, people that have been doing it for, for years and years, for decades. And then you have people that are, and it's all about connecting with spirit. They all do it very differently. Some do it through cards and some do it through meditation. And some do it through channeling and some do it through photography and some, you know, do it through writing. And it's all very different. And what I came to realize with the last interview that I did, which will be up pretty soon, um, the last two actually I did uh, that will be up pretty soon. I realize these are all very different voices and it's for a reason. It's for you guys to see yourself somewhere in some of these people and to realize like, maybe that's what I should do or maybe, or that sounds like me. So maybe I should figure this out. It's, it is kind of the teacher in me, um, my guides connecting with that, that teacher side of me wanting to kind of um, help you guys learn about your yourselves through these other people that have found very different ways to connect with spirit and let me just tell you there is no right way the right way is the way that you do it that's the right way and so if you're just exposed to me and what i do you might think oh that's the only way or just tarot readers you might think well that's the only way i've got to learn the tarot cards no there's so many ways to do this and you have to find the way that is you is very you connected to you what is your thing um what are you connected to what do you already feel connected to that may be the way to connect with spirit right and so i'm going to talk um a little bit about this i'm doing another class which will kind of add on to the classes that we've already done and it will just be um an hour long it'll just be one class and i'll let you know when that's available and if you want to get it great um, if you want to check out the other ones, great. If you're not interested in that and you just want to watch the channel, great. Um, they're just, I'm offering this stuff to you as just an offering and you can accept it or reject it. The only thing I'll say is that if you don't like somebody or you like, or like they give me a weird feeling or whatever, you don't have to tell me. You don't have to tell them. You can just note it to yourself and think, okay. Um, I don't resonate with them for whatever reason. And sometimes it may not be for the reason you think. Um, I'll give you a good example. This is my own thing that, and I don't want to upset people, but this is like my, my own thing. I don't resonate really with like alien stuff. Um, it's not that I don't think it exists. It's not that I don't think it's real. It's not that I don't think people have experiences or that there's, you know, area 51 or whatever. I don't, it's not any of that stuff. I don't resonate with it. One reason may be is that maybe I've already done that in another lifetime. Maybe I have know all that stuff already from another lifetime. Maybe I just didn't want to concentrate on that, on that in this lifetime. 
there could it could just be that I'm just not interested in like, which I'm not, I'm not really interested in like planets and stuff like that. It's just not my thing. It never has been. It probably never will be. Maybe I'll have a breakthrough of some kind, but, but I still, you know, when people bring it to me, I'm never like, oh, that's ridiculous. I listen and I, a lot of times I'll find it really interesting, but it doesn't stick with me. It doesn't resonate. Um, it's, and like I said, it's it has nothing to do with whether it's real or not, whether it's good or not, whether it's good for you or not. It doesn't have anything to do with that. It's about me and my life here right now. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be drawn to, and I'm gonna be interested in and curious about the things I'm supposed to be. And same with you guys. And so when I expose you to other people, it's to see if that spark is there for that person. Maybe none of these people, you're like, I only like you, only like him. That's fine. I only, you know, I, I um, wow, I like this person way better than Kim. I'm never going to watch Kim again. That's fine. It's, it's, a, it's a process. It's, it's opening you up to just new people and new ideas. Um, I got a ton of wonderful comments. By the way, I'm behind on my comments, my emails, so just be patient with me. Um, but I've, you know, scanned through all these comments and these, you know, I'm reading emails right now. And it's people have really, you know, were really blown away by the by um, the Terry Chapman photography and all that stuff. They're just like, I've, I've done that before. Or that's happened to me or look at this video. Um, it's, it's just exposing you to new stuff. And you may be like, that creeps me out, or I don't like that at all. That's fine. But what I want to tell you is don't, don't tell me <laughs> and don't say, I don't, you know, I get a weird feeling with this person. I don't like this person. Don't do that because that's not what this is for. And just self-note it. Just be like, there's something about it that's off for me. So I'm just not, you know, I'll, I'll turn this way. I'm not going to do that or whatever. That's okay. It's all just kind of letting you know what's out there things that may spark interest or may, or maybe like, oh, that, that sounds like me. So anyway, I'm not going to go on and on about it, but I, I, I have gotten some, some comments and emails. That I don't want anyone to feel bad. These people are coming into our community to just say, this is what I do. And this is what I'm about. This is how this started for me. All the stories are very different. And um, you may see yourself in these people. You may see yourself in what they do and think, maybe I'll try that. Um, it's all a discovery. Like I said, I, I use the the analogy with the airplane. I've got a I've got a window seat. That's all I have. I, I'm not driving the the plane. <laughs> I'm not you know I'm not um, I'm not in the middle row. So I, I it's not like I can't see anything. I can see a little bit, but that's all I can see. So um, I feel like it's my job to at least say you know look out the window. <laughs> what do you see? <laughs> okay. So um, I hope you guys are doing well. Buckle up. It's going to be a crazy week. Um, it's going to be okay. Don't worry. Um, even if these, I, I feel like the Georgia races are going to be fine, but even if they aren't, I feel like there's going to be some upheaval in the Senate this year. So take it with a grain of salt. Don't worry about it. Um, and uh, yeah, Biden will be in on the 20th and Trump will be out. And I don't, you know, we'll just watch the, you know, the Trump show from afar. We won't be involved anymore. So um, start cutting him loose, letting him go. Okay. All right, everybody. All right, take care. Um, go see Cassie's channel. She's trying to build it and I hope you guys enjoy it. It's a good distraction from all of this noise. Um, it's all about film. So it's at Cassie Carey and um, we'll put the link below. Anything else? Do the thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I don't have any appointments right now, but I'll be booking again in March. If you're, um, I did start a short waiting list. So if you want to be on a waiting list in case, um, you know, it's up to you, but uh, I don't know what will happen with that. So I don't know what's going to, if that will be, you know, worth it or not, but you can, if you want to be on the waiting list, it's fine. Um, yeah. All right. So I will talk to you soon and I will see you later.